This week, unexpected flavors and classic cocktails with a speakeasy vibe in Delray Beach. It sounds odd, it is odd, and absolutely delicious. No need to charter a boat. Get your catch of the day at this fish market in Miami. I really love that they do simple recipes that respect the seafood that you're eating. Looking outside and people are eating whole fried fish. And a dining experience that will have you dancing on the tables in Hollywood. The taramo salata is the egg fish dip, mm -hmm. and this was sensational. Cultural culinary secrets and global flavors. We have a passion for blending ingredients and seasonings from around the world. Additional funding for Check, Please! South Florida is provided by George and Helen Weaver and the Friends of South Florida PBS. Oh my gosh, it was so delicious. Crunchy and soft all at the same time. It was good. It wasn't anything special. You can taste everything, the different flavors. Oh my gosh, this is like nothing. I was like eating a cloud. Michelle Bernstein and welcome to Check Please South Florida, the show where regular people from all over South Florida recommend and review their favorite restaurants. So this is how the show works. Every week we have three guests. Each recommends his or her favorite spot and then the other two go to check them out and see what they think. This week, social media consultant Catherine Fitzgerald wants to open your eyes to a spot that will satisfy your seafood craving. She says the fish market with a key style porch creates a feeling of paradise in a Miami neighborhood. And food blogger Wendy Abdulmesi has conducted the research into what she claims is the best Greek food in Broward County. Her pick serves up traditional Greek cuisine. It's an unexpected adventure where everyone celebrates just to celebrate. But first, administrative assistant Timothy Moffat is here to assist all of us in finding our new go-to place for dinner and drinks. He says his pick is worth penciling into your schedule and he describes the passion for food, seasonal cocktails, and the community. This high-end bar creates a gastronomical experience with a speakeasy vibe. It's in Delray Beach and it's called Death or Glory Bar. It's a restaurant and bar in, a, in an old house. Death the Glory is a cocktail bar and a locally sourced restaurant. We've got two bars in our kitchen. We've got a tiki bar in the back, lots of uh, rum focused, uh, very inventive cocktails, pre-prohibition style. We're taking all the tradition from the past and everything we, we can try and learn and remember from the past, but remake it into the modern times. We write our menus to reflect the seasons, bar and kitchen, both. Whatever is local, whatever is going to be fresh and delicious. I want to try and focus on the food. I want to make sure the food tastes as good as it possibly can. It needs to be absolutely delicious, seasoned well, and cooked and hot, food hot, cold food cold, and a contrast in between. We've got a Cheeto spiced chickpeas made with nutritional yeast and fried chickpeas, and a crispy shaved Brussels sprouts with bacon and whiskey maple. Come as you are. It's a very casual place. I'm always learning. Everyone I work with is always trying to learn. We're always trying to better ourselves. So we're always trying to make it the best we possibly can. Death of Glory is a very strong name. So yeah, it's go big or go home. And we're, we're going big. You call this a speakeasy. The cocktails are sort of that speakeasy, gin-based vibe. So it looks like a house when you get there. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's seating, they've really used all of the space, so they're seating all the way around the restaurant for the most part. And then you walk inside and it's uh, sort of got a dark tavern feel, lots of dark woods, brick. I almost feel like if they really wanted to go high end, they could put, you know, super stuffed leather chairs in and then it would be perfect for the smoking jacket, uh, brandy, snifter crew. Oh <laughs> However, I don't think they want to be that uh, nose in the air. They're kind of like a little hipper than that. So the staff is all young, hip, fun people who know everything about the menu. You can ask them anything. They know exactly what's in this, what's in that, what's in the drinks. Uh, the chef is just on point. Everything there is has always been really, really, really good. So what do you have cocktails and food-wise? Well, um, they had traditional daiquiris. I was sort of impressed. I said, oh, you know, I'm, I, I was kind of in the mood for a Hemingway daiquiri. They're like, no problem at all. We can totally make that happen. Mm -hmm. So that's what I had. It was spectacular. We had the butcher's cut with a little truffle sauce on it. I sort of kicked myself for not getting the bigger cut, but I had so many things coming, I just wanted to enjoy everything. We had a watermelon salad mm -hmm. that had some bitter greens, 
uh, some really nice crumbled cheese on top. It was really floral, I, I would you had say. That as well, right? Yes, I did. Oh. Yeah, and the, it was delicious. And I'm MVP. usually a meat and potatoes girl, and I actually really enjoyed the salad. The arugula on it, everything was perfect. I found that you know I ordered the roasted Brussels sprouts with the Nooski bacon, and I thought, oh, that'll oh, be really okay. interesting too. Once that watermelon salad came out. I was like, yeah, yeah you, you can have that's this. It. This is this is what's <laughs> happening right now. This is what's up. This well, is so what watermelon doing. salad beat over bacon. That's that's a pretty big statement. I, I mean, like that statement. It was the Chanel number no. five of the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> this brought like a whole new kind of class to the the meal. It was really nice. It went really well with the uh, the daiquiri. Pinky's up. <gasps> So did you have anything else? We had the Cheeto chickpeas, okay. which are roasted chickpeas in Cheetos dust. Mm. And they come out in sort of a long boat. It sounds odd. It is odd and absolutely delicious. I would recommend it to anybody there. I had never had chickpeas cooked that way. It really like blew my mind. Um, usually chickpeas means hummus to me. <laughs> and it was nice to have chickpeas in a different way. They were so crunchy and so smooth and creamy inside. It yeah. was really surprising. My friend ordered that but I don't even know when the plate came to the table and left because it was so fast, they loved it. So Catherine, what else did you have? Well, first of all, the cocktails were amazing and I like that I went there with two other people. Everyone could find a cocktail meant, seriously just meant for them. Mm -hmm. We all found something that we loved. I went with the Walking on Sunshine, um, which was a tequila drink that incorporated pepper and kind of like a acidic taste to it. It was amazing. Cool. It was, it was amazing. Else? I had the seared tunas with the soba noodles. The soba noodles were my favorite part. The seared tuna was cooked perfectly, mm -hmm. but the cold soba noodles was something that I felt like I'd find at a very great like Japanese restaurant. Okay. Um, it was almost unexpected to eat something of an Asian cuisine there that was so delicious. And well done. Yeah. You could tell that the chef really thought out the ingredient and came up with something new for it. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. Great. So, Wendy? I had for the drink uh, the old fashioned, and it was just perfect. It was the perfect amount of sweet, the perfect amount of alcohol. The, they, they serve it so pretty. My friend had a mosque meal, uh -huh. and it was so pretty. So, I enjoyed it. And then I ordered the, um, the burgers, but these are vegan burgers, okay. seasoned with barbecue. They were amazing, so juicy. You wouldn't believe that there were no meat inside. Do you know what they were made of? Um, they were, I think it was like coleslaw. I think it was jackfruit. It's interesting that it's jackfruit because jackfruit is something that is used a lot in savory dishes and yeah. has the most amazing texture and um, unctuous quality to it. It's a great idea. But you had a regular burger, right? My regular burger was absolutely amazing. It was the epitome of like your perfect burger with the perfect ingredients. You know, it just had a little bit of pickles, cheese, the hoagie that they use there was amazing. I believe they make it in house. That's awesome. What you want to eat. Yeah, and the rosemary fries along, uh, it was perfect. Yeah, it I want to go really, back for those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. So how was service? Everybody's really laid back, but they all know exactly mm -hmm. what they're talking about, right. yes. which is really refreshing because you kind of walk in and, and sort of imagine that it's going to be one thing and it's a completely different situation. Right. Yeah. Well, Timothy, Death or Glory Bar was your pick. Please sum it up for me. It's everything you might want and not know that you need. Catherine? Anybody can go there and eat a well thought out me meal by a chef that really incorporates different ingredients in ways that will surprise you. Wendy? I loved it. It was a nice experience, a nice bar, w definitely worth the drive from Miami and with great food and wonderful service. For great food with a cool vibe, step into Death or Glory Bar, located at 116 Northeast 6th Avenue in Delray Beach. Open daily for dinner, reservations are accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $50. One of my all-time favorite salads is the watermelon Greek. I use watermelon to give you a little bit of sweetness on the palate also. So to make this, I wanted to make the vinaigrette first. A little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, some salt right in now, red wine vinegar, finally some of your favorite olive oil. So go ahead and mix that up. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh ground black pepper to finish. And there we go. All right, so let's cut the 
cucumber in to nice little square pieces, nice and straight, like that. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and start topping the watermelon. All right, so for tomatoes, um, I love using different colored heirloom tomatoes uh, and cut it into diced pieces. It's really up to you. I'm gonna hand this salad recipe over to you and you can have a little fun with it. So there you have the tomato part of it. And then for the delicious feta cheese, it's really according to your palate what kind of feta you like. So you choose whatever feta you like, but make sure you use a, a good feta on this. And then some fresh mint. And then I love fresh dill in this as well. All right, so there's your salad, just like so. Take your vinaigrette and spoon this. Make sure it really covers a lot of your veggies. And there you go, watermelon Greek salad. Oof, it's just beautiful and so inviting. You gotta try it. For my recipe of watermelon Greek salad, go to checkpleasefl.com. Now social media consultant Catherine Fitzgerald says she's analyzed the food scene and can confirm that this spot for fresh seafood is definitely worth following. The market is run by friendly fishmongers who offer you the chance to choose your fish and they'll prepare it on the spot. It's in Miami and it's called Fresh Florida Fisheries. Fresh Florida Fisheries, what it is, is a beautiful fish market. We have all types of quality of fresh fish. We get daily boats coming in. And the cool thing about this location is that you can come in, buy your fresh fish, just like any other fish market, but also have it cooked here however you want. I started this business because of my dad. My dad is the owner of Casablanca. He's down in the river, and this is always something I've wanted to do. The idea was just to have a fish market, but then I had another idea to reach out to those clients that don't know how to cook fish at home and said, why not have them buy the fish like a regular client and also have the luxury of having it cooked for them however they want, take it home, eat it for dinner with their family, or just eat it outside. Fish here clearly works by season since it's fresh, so everything is on and off. And us being located here in Florida, we get the famous stone crabs right off of our boats here in Miami. We have the yellow tail from the Keys, and then we got all these beautiful snappers. This fish market, I would personally say, is very different from other markets because I keep a consistent flow of fresh product. That's my biggest thing here. When we cook in the kitchen, we don't season too much. We believe in a little bit of salt, oil, and that's it. For you can actually taste the freshness of the fish. Fresh Florida Fisheries is the best place to get fresh fish and have it cooked for you or just take it home raw. So tell me a little bit about it because it is a market and it is a restaurant. Okay, well, I love to cook myself and I'm always looking for a wonderful fish market. And I stumbled across Fresh Florida Fisheries and I remember being there looking for octopus actually. And looking outside and people were eating whole fried fish. And usually I only see that in the Keys. And it was amazing to find a place that will cook their fresh ingredients. And I really love that they do simple recipes that respect the seafood that you're eating. So what did you have when you went in? I had a whole hog fish with two friends of mine that love hog fish as much as I do. And it is a rarity to find. It's my you favorite know? fish. And we shared it with three people. It was such a big fish and we devoured it. It was amazing just to be savage over some bones of fish. Is, it's a fun time. It's fun eating that way mm. and having that experience with friends. It's Did they serve anything with it? I had conch fritters and the lobster croquetas. Oh which I had never had lobster croquetas before, and <laughs> they were them? so good. <laughs> they were delicious. I really did enjoy them. Um, the conch fritters, I will say, are some of my favorite that I've ever had in Miami. So filled with conch nut breading. Exactly. Yeah. Um, usually when I get conch fritters here in Miami, it's just breading, and this was so much conch. And I remember seeing that day in the store that they had fresh conch for sale and thinking, oh, no wonder there's so much conch in this. It was amazing. Wendy? I loved my experience there. I went, you know, what it caught my attention, I will never forget, it's, it's a fisher, it's a market, it's a and it was market. so clean, so clean. I loved that. So I went and I was like going straight to the, f uh, the sandwich, mm -hmm. and then when my order was ready, looking amazing, and I'm about to eat, I asked the lady, 
I am so sorry, but was this fried by, with shellfish by any chance? And she said, yes, we do that here in our kitchen, which you can see right there, also impeccable. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I am so sorry, but I'm allergic and I cannot have that. Mm -hmm. So immediately the owner came to me and told me, come on, let's go. And can you eat fish? And he said, yes. I chose a red uh, snapper mm -hmm. right there. It cannot get any fresher yeah, than this, no, honestly. Okay. He took it and they cook it right there for me, grilled. It was delicious. I ate with that white uh, rice mm -hmm. and black beans. Mm -hmm. So it was just right, perfect. The service, I mean. That was very nice of them though. Give no attitude, else. no, they didn't charge me extra. And Any I difference. love the way that they, they cook everything there because it's not overdone. It's the most simple recipes that mm -hmm. respect the ingredient. And I really appreciate and, that and about their seafood. that's what makes it good. Yeah, yes. that's what makes it my favorite seafood spot. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I had the uh, shrimp ceviche, which Ooh. I have to admit, was pretty amazing. <laughs> it was it was it was really good. We did uh, also shrimp tostones, pretty amazing too, and the lobster croquetas. What I did read on your um, review was that it was probably the best toston you've ever had in your life. That's true. Mm. That's very true. Okay. Every single thing was amazing. Uh, I might have gone at the wrong time. I went on a Monday around seven o'clock, and I think they were trying to close a little early. Mm. The kitchen closes at seven, yes. I would definitely go back. It's counter service. That's totally fine. Yes. It's a little different. You know, you go in, you order, they give you a beeper, you come in, you get your stuff. Um, it, everything was on point delicious. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. just sort of a different thing. Sure. So they also have a porch, right, that you can yes. sit outside? It really reminds me of being in the Keys. It's picnic-styled um, tables mm -hmm. and you know, you go there with a large group of people, you want to share some fish together and mm -hmm. seafood, and it's very casual. Um, the last times that I've been there, I've seen different types of families there, kids there, dogs there, everyone's out there eating at the tables, and it's right. fun. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Yeah. That's awesome. It's fun. Yeah. yeah, it's good and casual. How are prices? They were very reasonable. Everything about it was very reasonable, specifically the fact that you can see the fish that you're probably going to get. That's really nice, and based on the prices, I don't really see that you could get something like that a lot of places down here. So a bang for your buck. Absolutely. Nice, nice. Well, Catherine, this was your pick. Sum it up for us, please. I absolutely love these, this place because it does wild-caught fish. I can choose my fish and have it fried without driving all the way to the Keys, and it's lovely. Wendy? Fresh fish at an impeccable place with wonderful prices. Timothy? Great place to go for fresh fish. Great prices. Maybe bring family, kind of hang out. It does have a Key West vibe. I recommend it. <laughs> well, for the freshest catch of the day, you can visit Fresh Florida Fisheries, located at 2238 Southwest 57th Avenue in Miami. Open daily for lunch and dinner. Reservations are not accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $40. And finally, food blogger Wendy Abdulmesi is ready to share her pick for Greek cuisine that's worth celebrating. This upbeat dining experience offers authentic dishes with a side of belly dancing. Hand grind the hummus, take in the view, transport yourself to Greece, and dance the night away. It's a happening you won't want to miss. It's in Hollywood, and it's called Taverna Opa. Taverna Opa is a Greek restaurant. This is the original location. This is where uh, everything started. We really invite you to uh, join our celebration. It really focuses on Greek cuisine. It's all about simplicity, freshness, and seasonality. As being part of the Mediterranean diet, we really want to focus on having good ingredients. It's all about olive oil, lemon, and herbs. We really, really do uh, the roasted lamb dish. All the dips, which are very typical in the Greek cuisine, are the whole fish that we do serve uh, grilled. We highly recommend our customers to dine family style and really interact with each other. We really think we can showcase to our customers what really Greece is. And part of that is not only our hospitality and uh, our menus, but the way the restaurant looks, that island feeling. We're still really dancing on the tables. It's part of the Greek tradition. Taverna Opa is a celebration of uh, good food and good wine, and we really look forward to seeing you. 
So you love this, right? It's oh, fabulous, it's fresh. I love it. I haven't been in Greece, unfortunately, but it looks so much like Greece, or at least the pictures <laughs> that I've seen. Okay. And it's so beautiful. It's all white with uh, the f even the floors are like the tavernas that you see in the pictures. And the best part of it is the location because you have the view right there. It's just gorgeous. So what did you have this last time you went? I went with my daughter and we had the dip platter. It had eggplant dip, okay. which uh, was on point with all the seasoning. Was and it baba it was, ganoush? Yes. Okay. Then in the same dip platter, they had the tzatziki, which is the um, yogurt. They also have the taramosalata. My favorite thing. The yeah. taramosalata is the egg fish dip. Mm -hmm. And this was sensational. But we started the night. The first thing that they bring you is the hummus. They bring you in a, in a wooden place, mm -hmm. chickpeas, you need to smash it. It's fun. Oh, so to make your own hummus. It's kind of, yes. Okay. You smash it and you eat it right there because it's really soft, so it's easy to do. All also, of you had the hummus, correct? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. yes. It's complimentary. Oh, yeah. it, was, it was just it's, a wonderful start to the meal just to have fresh hummus. <laughs> I've never had fresh hummus that yes. fresh. The hummus was a really interesting, very nice surprise. I walked in, there was a lady belly dancing. I'm like, this is very nice. This could <laughs> be a lot of fun. We had the spinach mm -hmm. which was really flaky, really delicious. Uh, it's a spinach pie for those yeah. who don't it's know. It's a spinach it's pie, pie. it's yes. fantastic. Perfect for sharing. I ordered the grilled octopus. Mm. It was really delicious. Did it have like a sauce or vinaigrette? No, it was just Nothing? straight grilled octopus. Okay. You had grilled calamari too, right? Grilled calamari, and it was, I walked in knowing that I was craving grilled calamari. <laughs> and I was like, well, they're a Greek place, and if they're a real Greek place, they're gonna have this. They're gonna respect seafood, they're gonna do it grilled. Yes. Right. And they did it far better than I expected them to. <laughs> uh, good. It was really my, it was really delicious. I will go back there just to have that grilled calamari dish. Wow. The way that they crisp it on the outside with the, just the light char was delicious. I like the tomato with it and the lemon and everything I had tried there was delicious, so. Did you try yeah. any lamb? <laughs> no, I didn't try the lamb. Did you have lamb? Holy bananas in pajamas. Let's talk about the roasted lamb. <laughs> okay, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a thyme, lemon, like gravy sort of situation uh. with, uh, I'm assuming, seasonal vegetables and a roasted potato. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Let's just sit back and think about that for a second. And I recommend <laughs> everyone getting that because uh, it was uh, buttery, flaky, fell apart on your on your... <laughs> Like I was like, oh, well, this is gonna be really good. We're gonna have some of this and we'll take it home. And then I ate the whole thing, and, but it was delicious. It was yeah. fantastic. It really did bring that Greek flavor. Um, the Spanakopita, I'm very picky about it. It was very good there. You had something else though as well. The eggplant with tomato. Oh, I love that it wasn't like a traditional babacanoush. It was large pieces of eggplant grilled mm -hmm. nicely in a hot skillet with tomato and garlic and pine nuts, and I absolutely mm -hmm. loved it. The other thing I will say about my experience there, I loved, it became a romantic night for me and my boyfriend. Like, we did not <laughs> know we were walking into that. You know, you see the water, I it was know. beautiful. We actually were there when it was pretty empty. The sun was setting, we had this great meal together, yeah. and it was, it really was just a wonderful experience. I think it's beautiful because it serves to a romantic day, night out, yeah. or in my case, or very fun familiar. Place. Yes, and very yeah. fun and familiar family night out. Yeah, it's a very, very lively place. So how was the service? I mean, I felt the service was great. Um, it was a little relaxed, but I feel like if you're going to a place like that, it you what, are you in a hurry, really? Right. Mm -hmm. Come on, relax, you're on the water. It does sort of very much feel like you're in Greece. Enjoy your experience, have another glass of wine. It's fine, man. Great, well, Wendy, Taverna Opa was your choice. Sum it up for us. The Greece that I have never been to here <laughs> with amazing food, uh, wonderful vibe. Tim. I loved it. The prices were great. The food was awesome. I would definitely recommend it. Catherine. Mm -hmm. Taverna Opa was way more than I expected. It is real Greek with real Greek servers serving me and food that really respects seafood and what I think of Greek food in Miami. For an eventful night out, indulge at Taverna Opa, located at 410 North Ocean Drive in Hollywood, with an additional location in Delray. Open Sundays for lunch and daily for dinner. Reservations are accepted and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $45.
We've had such a wonderful time. I want to thank my guests, Timothy Moffitt, Catherine Fitzgerald, and Wendy Abdulmessi. For more about the restaurants and recipes featured in the show, or if you'd like to apply to be a guest reviewer, visit us at checkpleasefl.com. And remember, find us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, please. Join us next time for three new guests recommending three of their favorite restaurants right here on Check Please South Florida. I'm Michelle Bernstein, and I'll see you then. Salud, everybody. Salud. <laughs>